exciting play play that's where the attachment styles come from anxious attached at uh, anxious attachment the other ones the avoidant attachment so those are the exciting guys we like so when a nice guy comes around and is actually wanting to say hi let's go on a date and let's go on a date he's actually not being clingy he's actually treating you right and wanting to be with you and that's what we find clingy and the other one that are avoiding us those are the ones that we are actually chasing so we find the normal the toxic normalized in our lives so those the what brian said is actually tr right boring guys are the the normal things and they aren't our entertainers we're supposed to make ourselves happy and exciting and they are just supposed to bring us you know whatever they bring us, you know, conversation or whatever. So he makes a really good point right there. So that was just my little two cents. But I think chemistry is important and it's tr mutual attraction mm -hmm. right. is important. And recently, I mean, I was dating someone for two months and they were the perfect person in every way. But I, there was no, I couldn't, the, mut the mutual attractiveness just wasn't there. And so it didn't work. Was he not physically yeah. attractive? I think no. I think he's a handsome guy. Maybe I should say chemistry for us. I, that it, it wasn't okay. sparking. The so chemistry. What is the chemistry? What is the spark? I don't know. But what I've learned is that you need it. I wish it, it was to my chagrin that the the spark didn't go off. But it is just. I think it's that thing that makes you, just that draws you to that person initially. And so. Was he you, kind to you? He was. He is the most incredible guy everything was perfect and i like was like i was like what is wrong with myself yeah what is wrong with <laughs> i don't know I, I what asked, is wrong with you can ask all my friends i was like what is <laughs> who, bro who broke it off we mutually decide i went to i i went to montana for a month and we 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 didn't talk for a week and then we called and we were like yeah i think he felt less pressure during that week of silence because he felt like he was constantly trying to make me impress me and then and i wasn't I just wasn't pressed. I wasn't like thinking about him and, and so that's how I knew. So I mean amazing guy, but it just I don't know. I re unless I gaslit myself subconsciously and didn't know. But yeah, I you you can. I mean, I think that everybody looks for that spark at the honeymoon stage yeah. and all of that. It, you know, over time you you realize that it's not about that yeah it's that you know a lot of relationships you get in you have that spark and then it goes away with everybody i mean i thought three or four women were the one mm -hmm. and then we didn't and it, it ended up it didn't end up materializing yeah oh that was just a oh i was like hey, yeah if you want, shut keep up going, boy. no keep going <laughs> no, that, but, uh, that, that's like a, it, it didn't materialize and i say me and my wife oh actually one did come in okay um what I wanted to say is that me and my wife didn't have this crazy honeymoon stage. We knew though, we knew, we, we were like, we just make sense together. And I was with 34 and she was 36, 37 when we got together. So we knew, but it wasn't some miraculous sparkling in our eyes that we encountered. It was more of a mature, uh, we're in the same place in life. We enjoy one another's company and we want to pursue life together. It didn't, it didn't have to be some crazy shenanigans, but I'm not saying that people don't deserve that. But you just yeah. don't want to overlook an incredible man that can add value to your life um, just because you don't feel that spark. You know, I'm not trying to be a counselor on here, but at the same time, you, you might want to revisit it because it's rare to find a man that you feel that way about and that yeah. you, that's a really good man. Yeah. It's, it's, it, really good men are hard to find, to be quite honest. The same thing with women. If you're a really good, incredible woman, you know that that chemistry would be hard to find. Yeah, that's that's to almost some degree the the vibe. There's there's a whole bunch of words for it. The vibe, the right. click, the spark, the butterflies, the lightning. All these terms for it, right? I almost wonder, and at least it's the case for me. I, it seems to be it's more so something that women need is the click or the spark. But why can't that either be something that develops? Because I think that the click or the spark is almost in the same category of as love at first sight mm -hmm. most of us would agree that we don't immediately fall in love with somebody mm -hmm. so why why can't it also be the case that we just don't immediately fall into the click maybe that could be something that can take time to develop but people because they've had it in the past where oh i have it i feel the click the spark instantly they feel like they need that in all their relationships going forward um my question is if the click or the chemistry or the vibe, the spark, whatever whatever term you want to use is, 
you felt that with a guy before. Has every girl here felt that with a guy before? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yes. That obviously, it's apparent to me, I th well, we haven't gone through the relationship status on mm -hmm. everyone. You're no longer with that guy. It's clear to me that the click, the spark, the whatever it is, like for you, for example, mm -hmm. have you ever felt the click with a guy and it ended really badly? Yes. So it's not clear to me if having the click and the chemistry precludes you from uh, the, re like the relationship continuing from having a good relationship. So I don't know. I don't, well, whatever. I don't yeah, I think communication is key too. Because, I mean, maybe both of you guys are going through something. Maybe you got out of a, a tumultuous relationship, or maybe you got some stuff you need to take care of, mm -hmm. with, you know, whether it's going to counseling or whatever the case may be. And so does he. It's a conversation that you guys probably should have. It's have a conversation with each other and then get back on the same page. Because me and my wife, we were friends first. And so we would talk about all our stuff first. I never thought about dating a day in my life. I would never move to California. So it, it seems as if we weren't going anywhere, mm -hmm. but we developed a friendship first and then we knew, and it was practical. Uh, women are emotional, not every woman, but most women are emotional. So that emotional thing is what draw you to somebody, but you have to at some point uh, go beyond the emotions, get to practical and then you can, you know, I think you'll find a better fit yeah. with you and somebody. I tried to be friends I, that was what I and I, what I wanted, and then but now he's dating someone else, so that so sad. But I also think that that's part. <laughs> so, oh, no, because no. I was thinking about him. I was like, maybe I should just, you know. But well, first it was hurting him that I was not able to like reciprocate the same like passion, and so I didn't want to hurt him. So that was like so that's when I thought let's be friends, and maybe that friendship will develop, you know. But he went and found another girl. Hey, good for him. I also think like that spark for women also that's a bond that forms when you're sexually active so like we weren't we're Christians we're not trying to do that and so that also and sometimes I would think man if this was like an arranged marriage it would just have to happen and then the spark would come eventually and then it'd be great yeah but but you already know the spark is could be devastating I, I you know, I'm so. with you yeah Wait, I'm, I'm just a little confused you said so you said you're Christian but the spark typically will come when you're sexually active with a person. Yeah. You weren't sexually active with him, but you said you've had the spark or the click with other men. Wait, so you're not sexually active. The click is something that occurs when you're sexually active. But how, why were you expecting the click if you're not planning to be sexually active? I'm just a little confused. Well, for some... Some Sometimes it happens on a, like when you kiss a guy, right? For the I'm looking around to see if anyone else agrees. <laughs> when you kiss a guy, and it didn't happen when we kissed, but that was really as far as we went. I think the 